The Christmas Story. It's Christmas time. People all over the world are celebrating Jesus' birth. People have been decorating, making plans for weeks, putting up Christmas decorations, their trees, and buying gifts for their loved ones. And now, today is Christmas Eve. We're going to look back to the very first Christmas. Luke 2, 1 through 7. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed, and this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria, and all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that, while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered, and she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Now, who is Caesar Augustus? Who exactly is this man? Well, he is a very powerful man from the Roman Empire. And at that time, during Bible times, Caesar Augustus, and this is a picture of him, Caesar Augustus, wow, he was also a very greedy man. He wanted to count all of the people that was under his control. So what he wanted to do is have all the people to take part in a census. He required that all people go into their hometown, you know, the place where they grew up at, and they would go there and they would register. And this was this is a census like we have today. They would put down, you know, their family members, the names, the ages, uh, if they had animals on their house, on their land, businesses, all of that kind of thing. So the people all gathered into each of their cities all around the empire. Now, Joseph and Mary, they had to leave their home in Nazareth. And they had to go and travel, and they had to travel to Bethlehem. The reason is because that's where that Joseph had grown up. Now, when they arrived in Bethlehem, you remember Mary was, she was great with child. She was nine months pregnant. There was many, many people who had descended on the town to register for the census. And the inns, the hotels, they were all full. And, you know, Mary was ready to give birth to a baby. And what are they going to do? They're searching for a place. And they continued to search and search. Well, finally, they found a place, and it was, it was like on a farm, and this was the place where she was going to have her baby. It was a place where, where animals stayed. There was no nice crib. This was the place that the newborn king himself, the savior of the world, was going to sleep. Where was it? Well, it was in a manger. A manger is a rough wooden thing that is, is made for animals where they put their feet in, where they're going to eat from. Now that night in Bethlehem, there were no gifts, there was no Christmas tree, no big celebrations with beautiful Christ Christmas decor, but this was the first Christmas. This was the best Christmas, and this was the most glorious Christmas. And the reason is because on this first Christmas, Jesus Christ came to earth, the newborn king. He was born of humble means, the God of heaven, he left his beauty all the beauty of heaven to come to earth and be born amongst the animals. No newspaper announced it. There was no TV camera that captured this event. But God, the God of heaven, proclaimed that his son would come to earth and be born in an epic way. And who was this announcement made to? The angels announced this, and they announced it to shepherds. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them. And they were sore afraid. Luke 2, 8-9 
shepherds. They were considered like low life, trash kind of people. A long time ago, if there had been police that had computers, they would have looked up the records of these people and they would have found they'd been arrested. They were thieves. They were liars. Um, they were People, when they would go into towns, people would refuse to hire them. They would reject these people. But God, he chose this group to inform that Jesus Christ had been born on earth. You know, God could have went there to other people, good people, rich people, but they didn't hear this announcement. That shows you that God is so superior in his thinking to how we are. He went to the poorest of the poor, the worst of the worst. No, Luke 2, no. 8 through 14. No, and the angel said unto them, Fear not, no, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great no, joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly... There was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. The baby had another name, Emmanuel, and that means God with us. Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. As you celebrate today and tomorrow, and you're exchanging gifts with one another, enjoy yourself. We Christians, we can celebrate the birth of Christ with great joy. Why? Because he gave us the greatest gift ever. What? Himself. 2,000 years ago, he came to earth. He became flesh and entered the world quietly with no fanfare to himself. He is our God, our King. He is our Savior. He came humbly to earth. Maybe you're feeling that you are an awful sinner. Maybe you're feeling like trash. Now, God, he is so superior. Would he refuse to come down to you? No. No. Jesus has proven that, that God's love is so great. He was willing to humble himself for us. And he was willing to be treated like a criminal, punished on a cross. Jesus was innocent, but he was willing to take our place, accept our sin. He was innocent like a small baby lamb. John the Baptist, he said, Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Jesus, he came to earth, he was born to die. Why didn't God the Father himself come down to earth? Why not? Why did he send his Son instead? Well, it was to show how great his love is for us. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Why did God gift us Jesus? Why? Because he loves us. But why does God love us? Why? Well, the reason is because God himself is love. Praise him. Praise him today and tomorrow. Praise him every day. Thank him for loving us. Merry Christmas to everyone. Merry Christmas.